He says that he's got proof that, that their album has been pirated by us. You mean he thought you were selling the copies under the table? What's wrong? You all right? It's Mace. He stole a bunch of things. I, I think he killed Ron. Now, you wouldn't want me to think you didn't care who killed him, would you? I just listened to my partner get his brains bashed in. What's the matter, Billy? Look, whatever Ron was, he never deserved that. You're supposed to have been his damn bodyguard, you know that? What are you doing? John, I've got some people upstairs. Only one admits to being here at the time of the slaying. That's the wife, and she says she was asleep. Anything else? No signs of a break-in. You take your arm off with a smile. Now, whoever killed Roman was no stranger. Sniff around, I'm up and talk to you. I took a pill earlier. And went to sleep. I I thought Ron would be working all night. I didn't hear anything. I didn't wake up until 
until I, I woke, woke me up and told me what happened. And your husband wasn't expecting anyone. <laughs> You look at that. If you got something to say, man, say it out loud. I was just wondering where you were, that's all. I've never seen anybody so proud of their own incompetence. Oh, you tell me about that, Mr. Producer. You're supposed to have been his damn bodyguard, you know that? All right, all right, come on now, take it easy. You already had one murder tonight. You DeVore? Yeah, yeah. Mark DeVore. I, uh, was Ron's producer. You found the body? That's right. We were working late on an album. Came back to the studio, there he was. Came from where? Uh, we had a dinner break around 12, Sandy and me. He's the engineer. Together? What? Did you go to dinner together? No, no, no. I, I went home to my apartment. And my old lady was there. She can tell you what I was doing. Yeah, I grabbed a bite in an all-night diner. I don't know if the car hop would remember me. This is Masio Childs, Ron's bodyguard. Why do you need a bodyguard? Protect him from people who wanted to love him to death, mostly. I guess you want to know where I was at 1 a.m. Well, why don't you tell me and we'll see. Picking up yogurt for Mr. Roman. He had a real wild thing about it. Whenever he needed a yogurt fix, he'd just send me. All right, Sandy, why don't you and Mr. DeVore come downstairs with me? Oh, hey, look, man, I'm really wiped out, you know? Hey, uh... Hey, um, look, uh, we've been through an awful lot this evening, huh? Especially Roman. Now, you wouldn't want me to think you didn't care who killed him, would you? Like I said, we just came back from dinner, right? I go into the booth, I light myself a cigarette, huh? Then what? Sandy uh, started screaming, yelling that Roman was dead. And you heard him through the soundproof? No, no, I, uh, I flipped on the intercom, then I heard him. Well, you didn't say that before. So what? It's no big deal. Every time you blinked your eyes, it's a big deal. Um, sir, uh, I just remembered something. When, when we walked in the booth, the tape was running. And I turned it off. You mean Roman was recording when he was murdered? I, I don't know. Maybe. Well, let's play it back. My favorite really turns me on. Maybe I should dedicate this song to you, seeing that it's one of your favorites. I'll give you an autographed copy, okay? From Ron. Gratefully. To... I'd like to borrow that. You know who he was talking to? How can I know that? You just heard what I heard, right? All right, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll get in touch with you. Yeah. Well, whoever it was, it was a friend of Roman's. We still haven't been able to locate Billy Stutz. What's a Billy Stutz? Billy Stutz? Roman's partner. I didn't know he had a partner. John, aren't you lonely living in prehistoric times? Roman and Stutz are the biggest country rock team in the music business. So, listen, my radio broke about ten years ago. Where does this Billy Stutz live? Somewhere in Topanga Canyon. Built himself a house on the hillside. No phone, no mailbox, nothing. All right, let's go find him. I'm a city boy, I'll get poison oak. You know, DeVore has a degree from Harvard Business School. Really? Ah, uh, nothing surprises me anymore. What's the matter? With what? Well, you keep shaking your head. You, you got something on your mind? Say it. I was just thinking how lousy it is about Roman being killed. You know, he and Stutz made some fantastic albums. I got them all. Listen, any music that comes out of a wall socket isn't music. Benny Goodman never had to plug his clarinet into anything. I hate to break this to you, Jigsaw. 
Boogie Woogie has passed on to its great reward. It's called evolution. Well, if that's evolution, I hope the dinosaurs get another chance. You feel better now? Yeah. 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 How did you talk to you about your partner? Well, running some sort of hassle? He's dead. Ron's dead? He was murdered last night in the studio. By who? We don't know yet. Thought so maybe you could help us. Do you know if he had any enemies? More than a share, I guess. How's that? Ron, uh... Ron always met everything head on. If you got in his way, he'd knock you down. Could see where that attitude could get him in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I guess so. It's funny, though, because when we... When we first started out together, we were just kids, but he was fine. He was really a nice guy. Just... Just seemed the, the, the bigger and the fancier he got, the, the meaner he got. I got it. Where were you last night, Billy? Um, I was uh, riding back up on the hills. I, sometimes I take my sleeping bag and uh, sack out up there. Can you prove that? No, I can't. Why do I have to? Well, not yet, but... All right, thank you. We'll keep in touch. The boar is at the station. He wants to talk to us right away. Mr. DeVore, what do you want to see us about? I'm the one. I killed Ron. Sit down, Mr. DeVore. All right, what happened? I went out supposedly to eat. I came back. I waited till he was alone. Then I picked up a piece of the mic stand. And I hit him. That's all. Your fingerprints weren't on the weapon. And a handkerchief, I wiped them off. Why'd you do it? I don't know. A lot of reasons, I guess. The guy was a monster. On the report, it says motive. What do we put down? The guy was a monster? Ron was breaking up the group after this album. I had seven years of my life in it. He was like a little kid tired of a toy. Where did that leave me, huh? The middle of nowhere. Uh, maybe I get scared. I don't, I don't know. Just had it, that's all. And this one time in your life you were so scared, you had to commit murder. Look, I said I killed him. I didn't mean to, but I did. What do you want from me, huh? All right. This one. 
bailed out. Oh, yeah? Listen, cowboy, you let your murderer make your case for you, and you wind up with no conviction and a big, fat lawsuit. The horse story waddles like a duck. If you're saying what I think you're saying, don't say it till I get some sleep, okay? As far as I'm concerned, we don't have one real scrap of evidence as to who killed Roman. Hey, uh, where's your walkie-talkie, big shot? I strangled him. <laughs> you got a call from the station. <sighs> Where is it, in your office? Uh, you don't have to go. You think I let them know that you were here? I got a message here for you. Hey, you know, they think he lives here. I'm afraid the department will close me down just to get him back. Okay, cowboy. Let's roll. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. You won't be tired either when you're as old and mean as he is. I got that to look forward to. <laughs> hey, Appa, ka. Jump, I need ya. Fight ya. Come this way. It's right here in the game room. What exactly was broken into? Well, I was too scared to check everything at first, but things were taken from the safe and... What was that? All of Mom's things. And Mace Charles, he's gone, too. His bungalow's empty. Where is it? It's right there at the end of the walk. I'll check it out. What was in there? All, all of Ron's stuff. His new compositions and legal papers and, and, and tapes. Money? Yes. About a thousand dollars. Oh, I expect everybody and their brother had the combination. Claudine? What's wrong? Are you all right? It's Mace. He stole a bunch of things. I, I think he killed Ron. Oh, no. No one said that. Just take it easy, Peter. Calm down. What, is that true? Charles killed Ron? Well, if he did, he forgot to tell your manager. The boy just confessed to it. Art? Oh, no, that's awful hard to believe. Why would he kill Ron? He said a lot of reasons. But mostly because Ron wanted to break up the group. And that's something you should have told me. Come on, Billy, there's something I want you to hear. Excuse us, Mrs. Ron. I'll give you an autograph copy, okay? From Ron. Gratefully. To... Well? No, I don't know who it was. There seems to be a little edge in his voice. Who for? Anybody. The war? Look, I told you. What about you? What's the matter, Billy? Hey, I just listened to my partner get his brains bashed in, okay? Look, whatever Ron was, he never deserved that. Yeah, that tune that Ron was playing, I know it, I can't remember the name of it. It's an old one from way back when. We never recorded it until this album. Oh, yeah? What's the name of it? Claudine Smile. Claudine Smile? What do you want? Well, I'd like to see uh, him. Look, I know you don't have an appointment because he doesn't have any appointments. So, unless you're a Virgo, I'm afraid you haven't got a chance because he's just spiritually exhausted today. Yeah, well, I'm a uh, police Virgo, honey. Oh. Well, that might just change his whole karma. Daltrey. The man's here. L-A-P-D. 
Guess he's flaking off. Go on in. Homicide, St. John. Say again? Homicide, St. John. Oh, I should have known. You're a little too square for a narc. Ron Roman, right? <laughs> hey, you're a cop. Want to hear a crime? Fullback for the Steelers. Somebody conned me into signing him. Has a voice like a pregnant frog. It's embarrassing to me, you know, man? I got a wreck, you know, pride. Hey, you know what my trouble is? I'm a mark. I, I just don't know when to say no to anybody. Ron Roman. Huh? Ron Roman. Oh, yeah. Terrible way to go, eh, man? Shoo. Big loss to you, huh? Two years ago, maybe. But to tell you the truth, they've been going down the tubes for a while. Albums aren't selling too well. Played to half-empty auditoriums on their last tour. It happens, you know. How'd they take it? Like everybody. Lousy. Roman tries to pin it all on Stutz, which was crazy. Stutz actually happens to be the whole group. He writes the songs. He's the lead singer. Ron Roman has about as much talent as a, as a, as a leech on a fat cow. He came in here one day last week with an armful of material saying that he wanted to do a solo album. I threw him out! I knew he ripped it all off Stutz. <laughs> then he starts making threats. Says he's going to make heavy trouble for the label. What kind of trouble? Like, uh, like I don't know. The man, he, like, he's spaced out. He says that he's got proof that, that their album has been pirated by us. Says he has proof. Pirate? You mean he thought you were selling the copies under the table and cheating him out of the royalties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big racket these days. But he was crazy. Why would we pirate our own label? How'd they get along before things went sour? <laughs> Roman was always trying to shaft him. You see, his wife, Claudine, happened to be an old girlfriend of Stutz's, and the poor jerk just couldn't get over it. He, he kept accusing him of messing around. One more question. Uh, who wrote Claudine's smile? Well, Ron Roman is the name on any sheet music you can buy. Philly Stutz actually wrote it. I didn't know you were a performer. Yes, I was once. 
A long time ago. Planning a comeback already? Yeah. I'm planning a whole lot of things. But you didn't know how it was with Ron and me. So you wouldn't understand. What are you doing here? Trying to understand. I was 17 when I married Ron. I was doing backup singing in Nashville, mostly. He was very different then. He was, uh, innocent. <sighs> very charming. Look, I, I, I don't know what... What about you and Billy Stutz? Look, all Ron ever wanted to do was take me away from Billy. He was jealous of anything Billy ever had. He was sick. And when he got me, my life was pure hell. I'm sorry he's dead. <sighs> look, I have to go back to rehearsal now. If that looks bad, then it's just gonna have to look bad. You know, I was just thinking. Ron was ruining your life, stealing Billy's material. Seems to me that Devore did you both a big favor. Good day, Mrs. Roman. Go, John. Get rolling, cowboy. We located Mitchell your child, Junior Motel on San Fernando Road. On my way. Can't eat that stuff. So far, you've had pretzels, ice cream, knockwurst. <laughs> the only thing you haven't sent out for is a pizza. Alfalfa, you're going to start to win it. sure you were right, you pulled a blade on a cop. Hey, man, I took that stuff because of her. Hey, Claudine, I had a month's pay and a bonus coming, and she told me to get off her damn property. What'd you do with the stuff in the safe? Hey, man, I told you I split in a hurry. I didn't have no time to set no dynamite charges. You didn't have the combination? Are you crazy? Hey, man, look, why don't you charge me for off and run and get it over with? That's what you've been after me for, not that other junk. No, we already got the killer. 
Art Devor confessed. Devor. You believe that, baby? You really need help. I think you better talk to us, Mace. Man, don't you know what's happening? Devor's been on the make for Claudine for months. But she just teases him, you know? Like she gives everybody a hard time. But he just dug her all the more. Do anything for her. That Devor doesn't look like any kind of a patsy to me. Isn't he regarded as some kind of a genius in the music world? You know, he told me. The other night before you all got here, he was all shook up. He said she did it, and he knew that. But he couldn't let her take the rap. Well, I guess he didn't. I love her. I lied because I had to save her. Even if she killed him? Especially if she killed him. Go on, get out of here, Devore. Go on! There's never any real evidence on you anyway. Beat it, you can pick up your things on the way out. Look, uh, I I'm sorry about all the trouble I caused, huh? Sorry about the trouble he caused. Well, you know what we got now, don't you? Dog meat. Everybody on this case has been lying to us. John, on this inventory of things taken from the uh, Roman mansion by Childs, nothing from the safe. No tapes, no music, nothing. Yeah, that's right. If Charles didn't take these things, who did? Well, maybe nobody took them. Maybe they were given. Claudine told me she lied to you about it, but she was just trying to give me what was mine in the music. Why did she try to hang it on Charles? Why didn't she just give them to you? Well, she was afraid if it got to be a part of Ron's estate and all, I might never get it back. You see, he copied down all my work because I couldn't write music. Who's J.T. Hadley? What? The address is 89436 Imperial Highway. What do we do now? Sign J.T. Hadley. Uh, J.T. was a private detective that Ron used. Well, I'll check it out. It's the address on Hadley's note. Yeah. Let's go around and back. See some more of that police science, cowboy. <laughs> hey, listen. I don't hear a thing. That's right. It's kind of unusual, isn't it? Considering we're right under the final approach of LA International. Place is soundproof. Somebody went to a lot of trouble. John, come here, look at this. Uh, record pirates? Yeah. Well, it cost him a bundle to fix this place up. And Roman hires a private investigator and blows it all. Maybe the whole racket. I think we got our motive. Well, part of it. I've had enough of this with you people. I told you before, this is an alley, not a parking lot. Take it easy, pal. We'll back out. You bunch of hippies. I'm getting sick and tired of every time I come into this alley. It's always blocked up. Hey, hold it, hold it, yeah, hold but it. Every hold time it. I come all into right, this... All right, all right. What hippies? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were with that bunch of punks that used to work in that building over there. Them in that damn van, I haven't seen... Van? Wait a minute. 
Can you describe it? It's always the same. White van, red and blue stripe. Bunch of hippies. I used to wave down a meter meet, sometimes twice a week. But all she'd do is write out a citation. Uh, citation? Thank you. Fourteen twenty to one ninety. I wonder how they're gonna feel being busted by a meter maid. Here they come. Yeah. Listen, get a hold of Billy Stutz and get over to my house right away. What, now? Yeah, he's probably up on that hillside someplace. All you have to do is yodel. Oh, come on, John. You gotta be out of your mind. I got a better chance of finding Amelia Earhart. Well, I don't want Amelia Earhart. I want Billy Stutz. Now get him over here and we'll break this case tonight. Oh, man, what are you doing to me? I got a pot of coffee going with egg and cinnamon in it. Where are you gonna get an offer like that at this hour? Water's gonna get cold. So am I. There, you hear it? Dissonance. Oh, I don't know what you call it. I call it a clinker. It was just Ron goofing off during the session. We did it over. Oh, yeah? Well, that little clinker's on every album. Look, I, I listened very carefully. Oh, no, that is impossible. I told you we did it over. I wouldn't let something like that get by. Look, Billy, you didn't let anything get by. Because that's not your album. 
I mean, not the original. That was made off a pirated tape, and every pirated album has that little clinker on it. An outtake? Sure. Th they made the records from our outtakes. Sure. I mean, why would he play that in front of the murderer? You see, he was taunting him. He knew that he was selling pirated records. And that little clinker was his proof. What happens to the outtakes? Who keeps them? Only one person. The producer. Hey, St. John, what a surprise. Why don't you go upstairs and study your astrophysics, honey? Hey. Wait a minute. Uh, what's this all about, huh? It's personal. Between you and me. Go inside, huh? Uh, is this an official visit? You're behaving strangely for a cop. Well, I'm a strange cop, and it is official. I just told you I'd like to know that Claudine Roman didn't kill her husband. Uh, yeah, it's terrific. You know, that confession of yours was cute, too. I mean, real cute. Had me going for a while, too, I'll have to admit that. Hey, uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah, I was just trying to protect her, you know. Sure you were. What was it you liked so much about Claudine? Could it have been uh, her smile? <laughs> yeah. You stole those master tapes, didn't you? And sold them to record pirates. Roman found out about it, threatened to expose you, and killed him. Who the hell do you think you are? Come in here, my own house, accusing me. Do you have any proof? You better. Because if you don't, I'm going to sue the hell out of you. Hey, come on. You wouldn't threaten a strange old cop, would you, with sore feet? Huh? Get out of here. I'm calling my lawyers. be back again. <laughs> okay, hot shot. He's scared right through to the bone. Think he'll run? I'd bet on it. John. Yeah, patch him through. What do you got, cowboy? John, he's gonna split all right. He's cleaned out all his bank accounts, and the only thing I can't figure, he's, uh... He's at a theatrical agency, all artists in Hollywood. Good, good. He's helping us build a case. There he goes. All right, stay with him. Theatrical. Tagging suspect. Then what? Come on. 
on. Come on. What happened? Uh, well, I came around the piano here, you know, and uh, I saw him, and he was just staring, you know, so, so I, I touched him. And DeVore was right where I am, this exact spot. He didn't come down to the studio. No, 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 no. He stayed right there. He froze. You know, like uh, a statue. <laughs> Baby doll. <laughs> we got him, kid. We got him. <laughs> yeah, we got him. Hey, he trapped himself. What? Uh, are you okay, sir? Yeah, I'm okay. It's DeVore who's not okay. The murder weapon. He described it perfectly in that phony confession. But, you see, he wouldn't be able to see it from where he was standing. It's a murder weapon right here, see? Where he was standing, he couldn't... He... Hey, kid, look, never mind. This let me tell you something. You did a hell of a job. All right? <laughs> I'm only an actor. I was hired. I didn't know anything was wrong. He told me it was all just a joke. You want to make another confession? It's all right with me. But, uh, I don't need it this time, DeVore. Listen, Sam. If I hadn't told this genius detective here about that agency providing actors for crazy stunts, DeVore still would be dancing the samba right now. You. You let me chase that idiot actor all over town. <laughs> How'd you know about the agency, Frank? Are you kidding? He used to be my agent. Wanted me to jump out of a giant-sized fortune cookie nude. Huh. Yeah, but you were a lot younger then, weren't you, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> 